Okay, this is a Scientific American. Uh, it's an article called Recipe for a Worm. It's talking about human DNA and comparing it, comparing it to a worm. Here it says that uh, you know the worm nervous system can detect odor, taste, and touch. Okay. Uh, let's get this thing. Uh, okay, so actually, but the worm, if you read all of this, and I mean, it's a lot to read, uh, the human and the worm DNA is very close. The human and worm DNA is very close. It's closer than chimpanzees. You see, but when God created Adam, he made him from the dirt. The Adama, the dust of the earth. Well, dirt, Adama, dust of the earth, is worm poop. You see, in the garden, the worm is very important to the garden. It it keeps things moving along there. It it keeps it groomed. You see, the worm grooms the garden. He cleans it. So, I'm going to show you a few other things. Okay, now here, I've just simply used uh, Bible Gateway, uh, Word Search, King James Version, and I've done a word search on the word worm. Okay, and it actually shows up, uh, let's see here, 28 times. Okay, uh, da da da. Let's say the morning Moses bathed. And shake. Neither were they any worm therein, um, nor gathered the grapes, for the worms shall eat them. Um, beareth gall and wormwood. Okay, I'd recommend reading all these. I don't want to go through the thing of reading it all for you, um, but. I think they're important to understand the part that the worm plays, okay, and how it is referred to in Scripture. Uh, and though after my skin worms destroy this body, yet in my flesh shall I see God. They shall lay down alike in the dust, and the worms shall cover them. You see, the worm even is responsible for consuming the human body. Um, you, you see, it, 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 it's the garbage disposal of the earth. You know, trees, limbs, bodies, um, everything, the worm is responsible for turning back into dirt. Ashes to ashes, dust to dust. Okay, uh, but I am a worm, and no man, a reproach of men, and despised of the people. Uh, how much less man than is a worm, and the son of man, which is a worm. Uh, Fear not, thou worm, Jacob, and ye men of Israel. I will help thee, saith the Lord, and thy Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. Wormwoods, referenced several times. You know, and I was thinking about that, the word wormwood. Well, wood comes from the worm. You see, the trees have to grow out of the dirt. Okay, but then the trees die and then the worm eats them to put more dirt to make more trees. So it's this bitter cycle, this, I don't know, it's just thoughts, worm wood. Ye who turn judgment to worm wood and leave off righteousness in the earth. But God prepared a worm when the morning rose the next day, and it smote the gourd, that it withered. 
They shall lick the dust like a serpent. They shall move out of their holes like worms of the earth. They shall be afraid of the Lord our God and shall fear because of thee. Okay, so just I just wanted to kind of show here a worm. All right, uh, let me real quick. I think there's four more on the next page here. Okay, yeah, the worm dieth not, and the fire is not quenched. Okay, so I just want to show you that little part right there, worm. Okay, here, I'm um, just looking up the Hebrew word for serpent. The Hebrew word rendered serpent in Genesis 3.1 is nachash, from the root nachash to shine and means a shining one. Hence, in Chaldee, it means brass or copper because of its shining. Hence, also the word nihashtan, a piece of brass. Okay, I just want to put this little piece in here. You may want to stop and read this. Uh, this is the story of the crimson worm. The crimson worm is very important in Hebrew tabernacle. Um, the dye that it puts off when it sacrifices itself is used in making of the garments. Uh, in, in scripture, in atonement, they use uh, the crimson worm and the hairs of a red heifer. Um, so worm and serpent a worm makes better sense and this is where I'm going with all of this a worm climbs in a tree at night and eats the fruit it eats the fruit that lies on the ground The tree of knowledge in the garden, the worm would have been entitled to eat the fruit. What if Eve saw a worm in an apple? You see, the, the apple with the worm in it is symbolic in our society now as knowledge. The book worm. You see, they were eating from the tree of knowledge. Okay, well, knowledge puts off judgment. And he wasn't dead. You see, and there's an old saying... What is pleasing to the eye, and scripture says the fruit was pleasing to the eye, you next desire to taste it. Okay, now I'm back over at Bible Gateway again, and I've keyword searched the word serpent. And this is the thing. The word worm makes better sense than the word serpent, and this is why. Now the serpent was more subtle than any beast of the field which the Lord God had made. Well, if I look at a field, and it's got all of God's animals in it, birds, chickens, turkeys, giraffes, hippopotamuses, okay, a serpent. Well, a serpent's going to be there. You know, I can still see him in the field. All right. But the worm is under the ground. You don't consider him. He, the worm would be the most subtle. Okay. And the woman said unto the serpent, may we eat of the fruit, we may eat of the fruit of the trees of the garden. Okay. And the serpent said unto the woman, Ye shall not surely die. Well, see, the worm, Lynn, let's just say this was a, an apple. We don't know, apple, figs, whatever. See, the worm would have been eating it. He's not dead.
So surely she'd not die. Okay, and the Lord God said unto the serpent, Because thou hast done this, thou art cursed above all cattle, and above every beast of the field. Upon thy belly shalt thou go. Okay, yes, a serpent crawls on his belly. So does a worm. Um, go, and shalt thou eat, and dust shalt thou eat all the days of thy life. Well... Snakes eat bugs, rats, frogs, other snakes, these types of things. Worms eat dust, dirt, adama. So, okay, and then we have the human DNA. And Adam is made of dirt, you see, and and the worm is angry because you Adam was put above it. You see, and uh, let's just see. It's just somehow worm makes better sense. I don't know. Anybody got any thoughts? I'd like to hear them.